So this is CIS 61 for Kate and Collins class for assignment number two, guess the random numbers. And I did a little revision on this, but basically what it, it does is you include your programming sections, you know, what your programming does, what, what it's for. These are the include statements, the IOMNIP, standard light, C standard library, the C time, and the input output stream. And you function your main. And you have your random random number that the computer has here. You have your user number here. Your boolean set to false. That determines if you win or not. Ink guesses is five. Your unseat time, that, that's where we get the seat time here. And this is our seated random number here. And this is where we get our random number between 1 and 100. So we do our C out statements for our number guessing game. Think of that number between 1 and 100. You have how many guesses less? You get the user number. And then while not win, so because when it's a win, it changes it, the boolean to true. And guesses is greater than or equal to 1. Then if user number is greater than 100, see out and don't take away their guess. That's what this is. Else if user number, you know, I could just do that in one if statement. Else, if user number, let me try that instead. That would seem to work if save that. So this is a separate if statement than this if statement. So that it checks this first, and then it goes into this. So if C out is if it's too low, then try again. That's if the user number entered is less than the random number. See how um, this is another if statement underneath. You have how many guesses left, and this is if they're at their last guess, it prints the actual number here. So it does the same thing, except it uses the greater than sign with the next else if statement. That's if the user number is larger than the random number. You print out C too high, try again get the user number again. Then on the last one, you do an if statement where where it gives the random number here. Or else you're a winner. And it checks if you win on the first guess here. And if you win, it tells you that else. If you win on any other guess, you win here. You got to change your boolean's here to true because you want it won. So anyway, make sure you save it. Close the program out here. I'll run it. Too high. Okay, well, let's try 35. Too high. Let's try 20. Too high. We'll try 15. 10. Well, now we'll try 5. Number chose a 7.
try that one more time. So we'll go 50, too high. Try again, we'll try 25, too high, we'll try 10. Try seven, try three. So yeah, that was the last thing I needed to add. I need to add the break statements at the end, which that's fine. The number computer chose was one, okay. So the computer chose one as a random number. So that, that breaks out of your loop, that's a break statement. So those are good. Try 50 again, too high, try 25. Oh, I won, cool. So yeah, the computer, pro the program works fine now. I'll go over that one more time. So I just added these break statements after this if statement on the, if the guess is the last guess. So that was the computer chose the random number and it tells you what the random number, then you break out of the loop. And then if the guess is on the too high or too low, or the, yeah, the too low guesses, that's the if statement. It prints out the random number at the last guess and then it breaks out of the loop because it's a, I mean, you could put it, put a, a C out statement and say, oh, I'm sorry you lose, but you know, it's kind of, I don't know, <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, this is just a, a computer program. So I don't want, I don't want to make somebody feel bad if they lose, you know? So anyway, that's that's the main part of the computer code. Here, I'll, I'll highlight it again. So you do your coding blocks. You start with your int main. Declare your random variables and your user variable and your boolean. So int guesses five. And then you use your C time here. Your seated, your seated random number is generated. And you generate a random number between one and 100. So then you set your your game format, I guess. So your C out statements there, and then you get your user number input here. And then while the user while win is not equal to it's not equal to win, so that means when it's false. And guesses is greater than or equal to one. So that starts your loop. And then if the user number is greater than a hundred you do this section of code here. And if, so that does, that runs anyway. So if the next thing is, if the random number, the user number is less than the random number, then it does this section of code. On the very last guess, if you didn't guess correctly, it'll print out the, the random number here. And then you do the break and that breaks out of your loop. So you do the same thing in the next else if statement when it's too high. You see how the, you, know, you get the username again. You decrement by one. And then on the last guess, you see out what the computer chose. Then you break. So it does, it's not a continuous loop. It's not an infinite loop, if you will else you're a winner and it checks if you guess on the on the first try it guesses is greater than or equal to five then you win else you win and it changes the boolean value to true so anyway that's assignment number two for cs or cis 61 for kate and Pollan's class at shasta college fall 2021 thanks for watching bye